Hey guys, what up? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. Please comment, share, like, subscribe if any of this is resonating for you. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick praise report. I feel like it's really important to be sharing these things and encouraging one another. Yeah, super important. So I'm going to share that with you guys and then also share some scripture. But, okay, so you know how last week I kept on getting don't give up, right? So, dude, this is crazy. That very same week, right, I get a message, this is later on in the week, from one of our future soldiers, and she had just graduated basic training. And she messaged me right out, right as she had graduated, and she said, Basic training accomplished. Thank you so much for all the support, guidance, and friendship that you gave me. I really do believe your prayers helped me find a friend who I met, met at reception and went through all of basic training. And she and I went to church every week. And then she goes on to say, I've been waiting so patiently to be able to text you since I found my friend because there was a crazy moment when she was praying that I literally saw you in her face. And that's when I knew I got baptized last week. <laughs> which is so amazing guys like praise god all glory to god honestly um but it's just so beautiful and you know continuing to keep in contact you know with her or you know with any new believers and um you know help them help them to keep on the straight and narrow and you know fighting the good fight so that's just super encouraging guys and I actually cried a lot in church <laughs> this last week because there's this one song they sing and it's yet not I, but through Christ in me. I think that's how it goes. But, um, yeah, it was like the Lord was shining through me, you know, for her to see that. So it's so cool how we get to be a part of, you know, God's story and whatever he's telling and it's just those simple acts of obedience it's like what is it extraordinary ordinary everyday obedience and it's just really cool to see guys i i don't know i just feel so honored and i just don't want you guys to give up and don't be discouraged um yeah and prayer is just so important that we are spending time with the lord every single day in our walks and yeah it's gonna be hard but also I had a question um, I don't know if you guys can answer this for me I was actually bouncing this off of my friend earlier but um, and I just got confirmation just now <laughs> but um, do you think that certain people in the kingdom of God are more like connected than others you know, like, we can pick up on some people more. You know, like, how we're in this tapestry, right, for the kingdom. But then, like, some of us, our stories are more, like, you know, closely knit together than others. I don't know. I was just thinking about that recently, and that's a cool thing to think about. I mean, I, I know we're all connected. You know, the Lord is the head. You know, he's running the show of what we're doing. But, yeah, I think... For sure he definitely has some of us um, knit more closely together if that makes sense I mean it's on a part of his plan you know so it's really beautiful guys I you know I, I wouldn't trade this for anything I know I was reminiscing what was it I think this was on Sunday I was driving and I was listening I don't know I guess I cried a lot on Sunday <laughs> I don't know what was up with me super in the spirit I guess but um, I was just thinking about, you know, how I didn't know the Lord before, and, you know, now that I do know Him, it's just, it's, you know, honestly a privilege, because, you know, that life I had before, it was like, it was so hollow, and just knowing that there is just so much more to life than, you know, anything I knew before is just so amazing. And that's why I want to share the Lord with everybody, guys, because 
His kingdom is better than anything I could ever think of. And that's, I mean, that's no nonsense. I'm serious. <laughs> um, just within these past couple of years and all glory to him on what he's doing. And, you know, it's not going to be easy and it's not going to all be sunshine, rainbows and unicorns. I know that for sure. There are some dark, there are dark times, there are valleys, but it's when we push through those valleys, when we are leaning into the Lord that he just continues to show his glory and he's just so kind you know I, I know that last week I was I wouldn't say discouraged but I was just like you know Lord what else is there you know what else is there for, for me to do you know and just walking that everyday obedience and it's kind of you know in the mundane we get discouraged too you know it's not just in the really the hard things but also in the mundane things you just kind of get discouraged but yeah and then you know at the end of the week the Lord was just so kind to give me that that gift of reassurance not to give up and you know with with that soldier messaging me it was just like super awesome guys and I know we're gonna stumble and we're gonna fall short but don't let the enemy accuse you or lie to you about your walk or where you're at with the Lord okay um and if you need prayer guys we need to be in prayer for each other okay we need to be in prayer period and yeah that's I mean that's how the enemy is going to try to get into your head okay and we need to be in, a, in community as well it's very important because he will he will try to divide he will try to separate that's what he does he loves doing that so we need to be on guard okay <laughs> sorry i'm a little bit tired and i also wanted to read from you guys galatians chapter six and i'm gonna read a couple of verses starting at verse six uh verses six through ten and says let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches do not be deceived god is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap for he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life and let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart therefore as we have opportunity let us do good to all especially to those especially to those who are of the household of faith beautiful so yeah i really hope you guys are encouraged with that and yeah, love you guys so much. Please hit me up for prayer. I love praying with you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys. See you guys later.